everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel. We're excited to share all our travel adventures with you all. So on this episode, join us on our trip to New Caledonia. Morning. Uh, we're walking to find a bakery at the moment. So it's 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, we've been told most places take credit card here, so we're about to find out. Um, and after that, we'll head off to a bank and try and exchange some money. Okay, all right. Give all us right. a minute. All right, a very giant walk dog walked in our way, and I got startled. So take two. Uh, so we walked over to the central park here. It's called Place de Pocketeers. Uh, so um, now we're going to try the fish. All right, ready? It's a tomato and cheese and egg quiche. Still nice and warm. Mmm. Mmm. Very tasty. Probably one of the best quiches I've had in my life. Mmm. And the cost was around 780 um, Pacific francs. So we'll come write that for you soon. Pretty nice. Everyone seems to be friendly and laid back. We've noticed that everyone has a smile on their face, um, and especially like we, we do stick out as tourists here. Uh, we haven't seen too many tourists around so far, but it's still early in the morning. Uh, but everyone seems to give us a, a smile and a wave sometimes. So um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a very very relaxed. Walk. Hey guys, so we've arrived at the Jibao Cultural Center. Um, so the cost to cost for visiting was about 2,000 Pacific franc, and um, they said to allow for about two hours to, to cover the center. Um, there are places to eat here as well, so you can get lunch. Um, but we're a little bit short on time, so we've asked them 
one of the best bits to cover and we're just going to try and see them in the 40 minutes that we've got. The museum seems really cool. There's a lot of different artifacts, but the issue is everything is in French. So I would recommend maybe getting a tour guide or reading about it beforehand. There are multiple accommodation options in downtown Namir to suit a variety of budgets. We flew in late at night and we were looking for a place to crash for the night before we headed out to the resort. And this place was perfect. There are a number of lo supermarkets located across Namir. Just be careful that when you do leave the capital city, uh, supermarkets are more spaced out, so you'll need to plan your journey. There are, if you're on a tight budget, uh, supermarkets are a great place to go because you can pick up groceries for an affordable price, and they have a fantastic range of French bakery items and products from Europe that you don't see in Australia. All right, so tonight we're staying in a traditional hut. Well, the hotel version of it. <laughs> Per day. Okay, if okay. If. All right, here we go. We've 
We've got power. So when you enter the room to store your luggage, and then Disney's just trying to barge your way in right now. Hello. There's, um, there's a kitchenette. And then if you keep going in, so there's a large TV, a nice couch, well, two, two couches in fact, a table, a beautiful bed, which looks amazing. Oh, look at that detail. Time for a bathroom to cover this lovely little bathtub. It's one that's almost placed on its own. We've got a ladder. Not sure if this is decorative or we'll, we'll use it at some point. <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got some lovely like pebbles in the toilet. And then similar sort of setup for where the shower is just on the other side. Beautiful and a massive mirror. I love the little bathrobes as well. I can't wait to wear this. All right, guys, so this then opens up into. Oh, wow, there's even more room here. So. <laughs> Just notice this. I was about to show you the balcony, but then there's obviously a closet here with the iron and a place to hang your clothes. And then Dylan's just too excited. She's about to open the door or struggling to open the door. Come on. Got it? Yeah. And so it opens up into our very own private Ooh, balcony. So, do a chair for both of us to sit on. And just look at this view. So in the background there, that's the beach. So it's probably about 200 meters away, if that. And you can see all the other huts. This is just, this is way better than what we expected. So, so, so happy to be here. Yes, we're off to the beach. So this hotel backs backs up straight into the beach. So it's a hundred meter walk, and essentially there. I don't think the camera is quite picking up quite how blue like that light blue sort of colour the water is. Pretty much got this beach to yourself. I can see two people in the distant background, but that's about it and there's no one on the other side. So we've gone for a long walk on the beach and then, okay, the doesn't reckon it's that long. So apparently it's only two minutes. So we've turned back not turn back, turned away from the beach and now we're going to go enjoy the hotel pool. So there's a sand, sand beach and grill and then to the left is the pool. So we've got this big infinity pool.
What do you think you're gonna get? I'm gonna get the nasty guy. Nasty guy. So they've just delivered this, which is essentially like a fish cutlet. Yeah. Um, for my birthday, so it's, that's very, very nice of them. On top of the upgrade we've already got. And we ordered, both of us ordered nasi gorangs. Um, I'm gonna try mine. <laughs> Looks like some sort of, um, I think it's like an omelette on top. Definitely an omelet. Mm. It's interesting. It's a bit different to your traditional nasi goreng. The rice is a little bit more sticky. But you can definitely get that soy sauce and um, authentic spices flavor. On the next episode, uh, we're going to head back to Nomiya and uh, then jump on a boat, head over to the island just off Nomiya where we'll be staying in and over the water bungalows. So stay tuned and if you like the video, please do give us a like and a subscribe. Thank you.